Hey there friends, it's Nick and this is episode 446 of the Story Hacker podcast and it's a Monday, at least it's a Monday when this is going out and um, I've been thinking over the weekend, I've been thinking about my um, my maturity <laughs> or lack of it as a, as a marketer, as a person who's you know, job it is at some level to sell stuff. And it's all, you know, I mean, at some level, that's everyone's job, isn't it? You know, we're all, as someone, it might have been Lincoln, but it might have been someone else, famously said, you know, everyone's selling something. And maybe it's your time, maybe it's your labour. Um, maybe it's the sweat off your back, but we're, we're all selling something. And I was thinking about, I guess, the kind of journey I've gone on, um, in terms of how I feel about marketing. And I, I, suppose, I suppose you can characterise this in three ways. And this is, a, <laughs> this is a good example of a podcast where I am, I'm speaking into the void because I'm trying to articulate an idea in my head. And I, and I have this sort of structure of it, but I don't yet have the language. And um, as, as you'll know, if you've been listening to this podcast for a while, you know, some of these things come out... Um, half formed in some sense but then they come back around and you know the idea of with what I do like I hope with what you do is that we get better each time right so here's the here's the kind of thought that there are essentially kind of three three levels of marketing and the first level which I was in for a long time was the idea that I had to convince people to buy what I was selling whatever that was, you know, that, that marketing, that, that selling, I suppose, is an act of um, persuasion. And of course, we see that, you know, I mean, that's, that's a very prevalent view. And not surprisingly, we want to persuade people to, to buy what we're selling. But, but I don't know whether you've noticed this, but in my life, the amount of people I've actually persuaded to do things they didn't want to do is vanishing, <laughs> vanishingly small. You know, I mean, we can talk about that in, in terms of business, in terms of sales, but also in terms of, I don't know, ideology or politics or religion or, you know, whatever. You know, how often do we actually, actually change someone's mind? I think, you know, if we're honest with ourselves, it's relatively, relatively small. Sometimes we can scare people into doing what we want. That's certainly true. But it's not really persuasion, is it? It's more, it's more like a brute force attack. So anyway, that's my idea of the first level. The first level of marketers, um, kind of people who have a thing that they're selling and they aim to persuade other people to buy it. Okay, so the second level is, is slightly different. It is, we aren't using marketing to persuade, we're using marketing to find the people for whom our service would be perfect. And, you know, in some sense, in some sense, this podcast is um, one of the ways that I've been doing that. And I've found some great work uh, this year, particularly through the podcast. And one of the, I guess one of the things is that if someone is in the market for storytelling and they listen to this podcast, they will get a sense of me for good or for ill. Um, and that, I guess, in, in its own way, is a good qualifying tool, right? Because if, if you've listened to three or four of these and you don't like the way my mind works or the way I think about um, business and what have you, then obviously you're going to walk away and find someone else. And that's as it should be, of course. So that's two levels. We've got the first one where we're trying to persuade. The second one where we're trying to find, we're using marketing to try and channel the right people to us. But then there's a third level, and this this is a level that I've never I've never really been brave enough to do. Um, but I, but it is at the top of my aspiration list for 2021, and that is to to seek to serve a market. So levels one and two are characterised by the idea that I've made something. I've made something that people should want and I will either persuade them to want it 
or I will go out and I will find the people for whom my product is a good fit. But the third level, my aspiration for 2021 is to, yes, still focus on stories. Yes, still still ride that kind of um, that Venn diagram between, you know, business strategy and copywriting and storytelling. But it is to f- to research and go out and find what. Find what people actually need. So starting from the client, the customer. And if you've been listening to the last few podcasts, maybe the last two or three weeks or something, I think you'll have seen that that there's gradually been an evolution in, in the way I'm talking about customers, the way I'm thinking about customers. And, um, you know, that is bleeding through into how I'm thinking about how do I accelerate this stories mean business? How do I accelerate my um, my consultancy how do I build products that people will actually want and um, what I decided to do is to do it the other way around in 2021 to do the research and start finding out what people actually want as opposed to trying to find people for my products although that has worked fine but I think if we're talking about the kind of flywheel like I was talking about in yesterday's podcast there needs to be something more. There needs to be um, a better engagement with the kind of people I want to be my clients. So that's my thought for, the, for Monday at the start of the week. Look at that. Thanks for listening. And remember, your story means business.